Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly hanged it with the action With the vital speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Man Just caught a touchdown from the base Police arresting 19-year-old Amari Tajon Pollard. Police say he and Jackson had exchanged words outside the theater. They say Pollard got a gun from his car and opened fire before calmly surrendering to officers at the scene. This was targeted at, at one individual, so they, they knew each other and had an ongoing dispute. Uh, they don't know. They want to talk about shit. Eighteen-year-old Sean Jackson and his family cheered as he walked the stage on graduation day, but the joyous day ended in tragedy. We have an active shooter at a graduation. A gunman opening fire while hundreds of graduates and their families gathered at the Altria Theater after Huguenot High School's commencement ceremony. Everybody started running and it's just chaos from there. You just kept hurting shots. The gunshots killing Jackson and his 36-year-old stepfather, Renzo Smith, and injuring five others ranging in age from 14 to 58. Jackson's nine-year-old sister hit by a car as people ran. She's okay. Man accused of opening fire in a deadly mass shooting in Virginia appeared in court today. He now faces murder charges. The shooting happened outside of a high school graduation in Richmond, killing two people. ABC's Justin Finch has the latest now from Washington. What should have been cheers for the graduating class of Huguenot High School instead turning to screams as gunfire sent terrified students and their families scrambling for cover. Police arriving within 45 seconds to a theater near Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond where the graduation was held. Authorities later confirming two people were gunned down. 18-year-old student Sean Jackson and his stepfather Renzo Smith, both shot and killed. Sean's mother telling ABC News her family was there to celebrate his graduation. Sean's nine-year-old sister, also a victim, recovering in a wheelchair after being hit by a car while fleeing the area. One witness describing how the joy of those gathered quickly turned to grief. I walked past this guy and he ran and the next thing I know, he was shot. It was total, total chaos. Setting multiple units to the area, all traffic standby. Authorities say five others suffered gunshot wounds. Officials say a 19-year-old suspect is in custody, facing two second-degree murder charges with possibly more to follow. We believe there must be accountability for this violence. Police say multiple handguns were found at the scene and believe the shooting was targeted. Police believe Pollard and Huguenot graduate Sean Jackson did know each other. Crime Insider sources tell me detectives are investigating how long they've known each other, but are confident it's been a couple of years. Those same sources telling me detectives have honed in on two theories. Words exchanged between the two at Tuesday's graduation ceremony at the Altria Theater, or the 2021 killing of Thomas Jefferson student Davion Elliott. Protests unfolding outside of Thomas Jefferson High School this afternoon. Students joining the family of a murdered classmate and demanding that the school award Davion Elliott a diploma this spring. Students at Thomas Jefferson High School are still mourning the tragic loss of their classmate Davion Elliott, who was murdered back in November, only a few months into his senior year. The people who work here for us, his mother, his friends, it wasn't easy for nobody and we're all still dealing with it. Davion's mom tells us he was a great kid who loved being at school and was still deciding what college he was going to attend next fall. Elliot and the suspect Pollard were friends. 
Social media posts and music videos show Jackson, an aspiring rapper, with lyrics referring to a chest shot. That's how Elliot was killed on Larry Moore Road in South Richmond. Elliot's death ruled a justified homicide, and multiple sources confirm Jackson was part of that police investigation. I spoke to Davion's mom by phone who tells me, I would not wish death or grief on anyone. Losing a child is losing a piece of your heart. If rumors are true that this was done out of retaliation for my son, I would ask these kids or people who called my son their friend to stop and end this now. Nothing good will come from it. I'm hurt my son's case is closed, but I'm going to let God handle it. Police continue working every angle of this case through asking for people that may have videos inside the Altria Theater during graduation or outside the Altria uh, Theater after the graduation to please send that video into RPD. Reporting live outside of Huguenot High School in Richmond tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News. Now, there's a famous quote that you guys might have heard with every action there's a reaction. Now, sometimes it may occur two years later or in what might be the case in this situation, it could occur in two weeks. And some of y'all just might need to hear this. Just because the court of law doesn't find you guilty of something doesn't mean the streets won't. We feeling real comfortable in VA. Y'all meet us in Richmond. All my guys in the 804, what up though? Y'all get downstairs, y'all run it up. Now, today I'm going to do my best to tell you guys the story of an 18-year-old that would lose his life just minutes after one of the most important moments in anybody's life. And to make matters even worse, not only did the shooting cost him his life, it would cost his 36-year-old stepfather his life as well. Now, today, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of 18-year-old Huguenot graduate Sean Jackson, who would be murdered minutes after walking across the stage and receiving his diploma on June 6, 2023. But more than I would talk about the gun battle that the media is calling a mass shooting that costed him and his stepfather his life, I want to talk about the situation surrounding it and the irony in his death. Now, with it being in the early phases of this murder investigation, authorities don't have many concrete motives as far as the shooting. One being him and the alleged shooter, Amari Pollard, got into some kind of back and forth as students gathered after their graduation ceremony. But the one to me that seems more probable would be his involvement in the November 2021 murder of another teenager by the name of Davion Elliott. Now, Richmond, Virginia, once the murder capital, has seen an uptick in violent crimes, especially homicides, fairly recently. And there's certain pockets of the city that you could find yourself in where your likelihood to become a victim of murder increases substantially, almost as high as anywhere else in the nation, with one of its cities, Petersburg, ranking only behind St. Louis, Missouri, as far as murders per 100,000 people. Now, the murder of Devon Elliott that you could possibly say started the domino effect that will ultimately lead to the death of Sean Jackson as well as his stepfather, would occur two years prior on November the 11th, 2021, where according to ABC 8 News, Devon Elliott would be shot on Larry Moore and E. Rich Rose. Following the shootings, he would be taken to a nearby hospital in a personal vehicle, only to eventually succumb to his injuries. Now, according to several media outlets, Sean Jackson would be charged for the crime somehow or associated with it, and it would be eventually ruled a justifiable homicide. But just like I said earlier, sometimes the judicial system can't convict you of a crime, but that don't mean that the streets can't. And depending on who you ask, 
Sean Jackson would make a fatal mistake just two weeks before his murder on May 26, 2023, titled Chi 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 under his rap name, OTG Sean. Now, though the video is titled Chi Chi Chi, right before the video begins to play, the word chest shot scrolls across the screen, leading some to believe that the video was made in an effort to taunt the death of Davion Elliott. And according to the Richmond Police Department, one of those people that took it personal was an alleged associate of Davion Elliott by the name of Amari Pollard. Now, we're not quite sure whether Amari Pollard stalked Sean Jackson to his graduation, but he too was in attendance at that gathering for the Huguenot High School seniors. And it would be there where the two would exchange words and authorities would determine that Amari Pollard would head to his vehicle and retrieve a firearm that would lead to him opening fire on Sean Jackson his stepfather during the process injuring three other individuals with it being so early on in the investigation it's hard to say exactly what motive is concrete but it's just hard for me to fathom that words exchanged right after a graduation ceremony would lead to somebody being shot and killed right on the spot now i could be wrong but I would think people are a little bit more joyous at a situation like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all shooting a nigga after y'all get into it at your nephew graduation? Y'all just don't strike me as those type of guys. But hey, who knows? Y'all make sure y'all hit the red subscribe and the bell right under this video so y'all know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. Y'all flood that comment box up. Let me know y'all theories. Was his fatal mistake uploading that YouTube video? Y'all let me know what cities we need to go to, what stories we need to tell, what we missed, what we got wrong, all of that. Tap in with me directly on Instagram, Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. And y'all know the verdict. I'm going to be back with a pack ASAP. Salute the almighty mob. Shays Popolite.